18 months ago, I made the unprecedented decision to invest in a fledgling laptop company called Framework. They promised upgradability. They promised sustainability. They were gonna change the industry. And all they asked for was a small loan of a quarter million dollars. I was so impressed with my first hands-on experience though, that I not only bought a laptop for myself for the first time in 16 years, I also invested my money in their company. But looking at what they're announcing today, it's clear that I made a fundamental mistake. I should have bought more of their company. We have got AMD frameworks. We've got larger frameworks with even more customization and upgradability. And if your mind isn't blown yet, dedicated GPU module. Is this a gaming framework? The best part is we've barely scratched the surface. So we are gonna sink our teeth into these and go as deep as we're, well, allowed to go given that I'm being carefully supervised. Just to be clear. I can open this up all the way. No. I can tell them what chips are in the GPU. Can I at least tell them about our sponsor? Sure. Ugreen, do you primarily work on a laptop? Increase your productivity with Ugreen's docking station. You can connect all the peripherals you want, such as multiple monitors, keyboards, mice, all through a single hub. Check it out at the link below. The AMD edition of the Framework laptop is a thing of beauty. It comes in the same elegant and upgradable 13 inch chassis as before, but inside beats a heart of pure undiluted Ryzen 7000. A team red CPU option has been off and on the most requested feature for Framework to offer on their machines, trading places only with a larger battery. So they did that too. They've gone from 55 watt hours to 61 watt hours. But if you own a previous generation framework, like me, and you worry about intercompatibility, fear not. The size is actually identical and the bumping capacity comes purely from chemistry improvements. That's really good news. But wait, there's more. The same 13 inch chassis that I've been using, not to mention upgrading ever since I got it at launch, is getting even more options. Intel 13th gen core processors are also being announced for both brand new builds and for folks who want to reuse their existing systems. So if you're on previous gen hardware, you're gonna have to make a hard choice. Do you go Intel or do you go AMD? Which actually leads me, which one's better? It's a personal preference. Right, but okay, how do I ask this again? Uh, which one should I get? Whatever you like. Which one will you get? Whatever I like. Oh, this guy <laughs> clearly doesn't want to make either Intel or AMD mad. They've also been addressing some of the pain points that have been discovered now that thousands of frameworks are out in the wild. I'm talking upgraded stiffer hinges, louder speakers, not to mention, oh, see that? Now you don't, a matte screen option. Ah! Are we getting a touch screen too? That I can't comment on, but we will not have it in this release. Okay, I'll wait. One thing you don't need to wait for is our new 3D down jacket. It's lightweight, warm, and only from lttstore.com. Now hold on, you might say. I thought Framework's whole shtick is sustainability. Well, that old board you pulled out is still good. What, do, do we scrap it now? Ah, I'm so glad you asked. We showed off a cool 3D printed case last year that you could set up for yourself to turn it into a little slimline computer. But for the folks without access to a 3D printer, there's a new, better solution. Framework has teamed up with Cooler Master to offer a motherboard case, also known as a case, by the way, in case you guys were confused, meaning that your old board can effectively become your new media center. Now, enough about that. Let's get to the really exciting part. Look at this. Look how much bigger it is. And bigger is just the start. There's only so much that I can say about the all new 16 inch framework laptop at the moment, but there is nothing stopping me from demonstrating its biggest party trick, a removable dedicated GPU. While the MXM form factor has died more deaths than Kenny McCormick, Framework developed their own solution, an easily swappable expansion bay that is wired up with a custom PCIe by eight interface. Fun fact, by the way, it actually uses the same connector as Dell developed, like back, what, a couple years ago, I guess it was? But since Dell isn't Framework and didn't publish their pinout, Framework had to develop their own pinout, which this time around will be published to allow board partners or realistically anyone to use it. Is, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. If another laptop manufacturer said, you know, hey, we really like this thing, we're gonna have a thing. Don't you love this attitude? I can't tell you who they partnered with to build this and 
They won't even let me take the cooler off it to take a look. I don't even know if it's AMD or Nvidia at this point, but what I do know is that with all the data sheets that they're creating, an AIB like an ASUS or an MSI could easily develop something for it. Now, a GPU in a framework laptop is pretty high up there on my personal wish list because that power turns these things into something that's actually a viable option for us to deploy to our team. A writer might be fine with a 13 inch, but engineers and editors, come on, they need a GPU. And the best part, it's not just for GPUs. The idea for the expansion bay here is identical to their IO modules that they have on the regular framework laptop, open source and completely customizable. This space here where a GPU might sit could be anything, a pair of M.2 SSDs, an AI accelerator, even an extended battery. That's right, removable batteries are back, y'all. And there are even plans to offer an external caddy so that you can use their old batteries, like the internal ones, as portable battery packs. And you don't even have to be limited by the exact shape of one particular expansion module. In fact, if you look closely, these two are slightly different because a GPU needs a little bit more space than say, a couple of M.2 SSDs. So if you're willing to accept the compromise of adding a little bit of extra, you know, Z height to the back of your laptop, I mean, you could see conceivably just about anything thrown in here. Let's say you wanted to swap out your GPU for something like a capture card. Part of the spec is external facing IO and then, oh, this raises an uncomfortable question. Again, with the e-waste, what do we do with this GPU? Like slap it in a desktop? Well, yes, actually. Nothing would prevent the development of a simple carrier card. The same sort of thing we've actually seen for MXM GPUs in the past, but also no, gets even better. In the future, Framework wants to give you the option of taking this and putting it in an external GPU dock which they have already mocked up and are gonna be showing off very soon so that a friend or someone could use your old GPU with their laptop. One of the things that Framework learned in the development of this product is just how divisive numpads are on laptops. Personally, I don't care for them. I'd rather have these LEDs on the side. As it turns out, nearly 50% of you do want them, whether it's for data entry or just extra keys for gaming inputs. Fortunately, this is framework, David. I'm about to blow your mind, check this out. I pop these out right here and here, slide these off. These modules, Shut up. no, 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 no. These modules, replaceable, okay? So we can put in wood grain accents or something like that, okay? Uh, if you want like carbon fiber, uh, they've got all kinds of different ideas for this, but, but wait, but wait, it gets even dumber. Check this out. Trackpad comes off, keyboard. Oh, 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 wait, numpad on the right. Wait, wait, numpad on the left. Oh wait, oh, but I hate it when my trackpad isn't centered in my keyboard. Oh no, shut up, it's right under the keyboard. Are you kidding me right now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is wild. You know those niche keyboards that you've seen with a second screen or whatever? Oh, yeah. Well, Framework has been paying attention. That's right. If a numpad doesn't offer quite the functionality that you wanna see, how about a power sipping memory LCD? That might be more your thing. Now, this one might never see the light of day. I mean, they'd like to cram a touchscreen in here or you know, different types of display technologies, but that is a lot to pack into something of this height while retaining durability. But at least you know that it's something that's on their radar. The best part is that this modular input system doesn't end at just being able to move the keyboard back and forth and stick on a numpad. In addition to all the same languages that they already support on the 13 inch framework, there's four more languages that they're adding to 13 inch that will also come to this down the road and Linux users rejoice. On the 16 inch, they're even gonna build a keyboard option that replaces the windows key with a super key. I guess the windows logo is that offensive. Yeah, I don't know how many of those you're gonna sell. We're gonna see. So while in theory, you could put a 13 inch board inside the 16 inch chassis, it would be a total Frankenstein job and it wouldn't make a ton of sense since you wouldn't even be able to hook up some of the new IO. Oh, wait, did I even mention the new IO? Because of the larger size, 
there are six packs now of their hot swappable I.O. modules instead of just four. They've also got a new retention clip down here that's, I don't like the red. I like green for okay to remove. It's a hard UX problem. Yeah, they like red for not the default state, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I guess, I guess I get it. Oh wait, we didn't even talk about the new module. They did remove the three and a half inch jack from the 16 inch laptop, but they developed a 3.5 millimeter module. So you can have as many three and a half mil jacks as you want. Could I configure these for like surround sound or something? You could theoretically. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you get more ports on your laptop for everyday use. And it also means that the community who supports Framework, either by buying these things or by building modules, are gonna be having a field day with all the new ideas that are gonna to come to light. And that community is only getting bigger and better. You guys might have noticed that Framework's web shop is called the Framework Marketplace. That's because it's gonna be expanding to allow third-party manufacturers to sell directly to consumers, as well as offering a space for consumers to sell and trade used components with each other. And for that, I owe everyone involved a massive and sincere thank you. A modular laptop like this is such an important mission and it only works if everyone agrees it's time to move beyond disposable electronics and focus on repair and sustainability. And Framework is committed to that in more ways than one from things like choosing to use cast magnesium alloy for their shell instead of machining it. I actually saw this thing, realized there's not a single screw on the bottom, which is cool, right? But that means that there would have been pounds of wasted magnesium alloy from a traditional CNC routing job to remove all that material. No, it's cast, that's freaking awesome. They're also using paper-based packaging and post-consumer recycled materials wherever possible. Those of you who have been paying close attention probably noticed that we weren't allowed to spill the beans on the exact hardware in this thing. But come on, I'd hate to totally spoil the surprises when it comes out later this year. Just like I'd hate to spoil this segue to our sponsor. Goliath Technologies. Goliath boasts that their end user experience monitoring and troubleshooting software is best in class, allowing you to find the root cause of any IT issue in three clicks or less, even allowing you to solve the most complex Citrix or VMware Horizon user issues in minutes. With Goliath's troubleshooting expert feature, a level one service desk can resolve higher level issues without escalating them further. And their technology comes with embedded intelligence and automation so that you can be set up and operating in minutes with policies that are designed by experts so you can monitor and interpret your data with confidence. So if you have Citrix or VMware Horizon and are having performance issues, Goliath is there to help. And if you're in healthcare, Goliath comes with industry only modules for Cerner, Epic and Meditech. Sign up for a free trial and save 20% using the link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out the last time I updated, ooh, where is it? My framework from 11th gen to 12th gen. I went from, what was it, like eight cores to 14 or something stupid like that. Same chassis, and now I could put 13th gen in it, or AMD. And if I broke it doing this, I could replace all those pieces. Look, he's not even stressed. You could, yeah. No problem. Speaking of which, I need to replace my uh, my fingerprint yeah, sensor. I, see. I mangled the, uh, yeah, the what keyboard. Here? Yeah, well, I was not being careful when I did something, and so it's deformed. So when I put it on, it cracked my fingerprint sensor. Okay. So um, we can yeah. send you some parts. Yeah, but well, we'll we'll figure it out.